So here, lesson 3.3, the first example. You all know that we have studied in our last lesson that part over whole is nothing but percent over 100, right? So now if we write this as an equation, part will be percent of times whole. Percent times whole. This will be the part. To find out part, we get an equation. Using X and Y, we will see how they do it. In this problem situation. So height is equal to percent times vertical reach. We can use the data we know to solve the percent equation. Maria's height is 60 inches, which is equal to percent, or P, times Maria's vertical reach of 75 inches. Use inverse operations to solve for P. Multiplication because 60 70 fifths is equal to, to this one, you P know times I taught you. I taught you in other way. How did I teach you? I said to you if 60 equals 75 P. To find P, where is 75? It will go to other side. It will go to other side. Multiplication, this relation is multiplication, it goes and become division. Do you remember this? You remember this? Ghalia? Yeah. Do you know this? And uh, Laritaal? Yes. 75 over 75. So 80 hundredths is equal to P. How do you write 80 hundredths as a percent? Select your answer. Of course, how do you write this as a percent? Because they did not give you over 100. 0 0.85 over 100. You remember, we had 100 also in the whole thing. Like what we had was, we had this way. P over whole equal percent over 100. Yes. So now finally, they did not say us this. They said just P equal percent W. Part, part equal, part equal. Per P is the part. Part equal percentage times whole. They did not put 100. So whatever the answer I got, I'll put it by 100. Got it or no, not yet? What is part? Part means of whole. What is the formula? Part of whole is equals? Yes. So this is simple. When you find want to find part, where did the whole go? Percent times whole, right? This whole will go up. P times W, person times whole. That's it. But they did not put 100. That's why finally they divided 100. Understood, Malak? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do try it later. Here, an elephant weighs. I mean, we'll do the first. First, we'll do the try it. An elephant weighs fifteen thousand pounds on Earth and two thousand five hundred pounds on the Moon. Assuming the weights are proportional, if they're proportional, means how do you write? You write fifteen thousand. The denominator. What percent of its weight on Earth? Is its weight on the moon? First, they ask you Earth. Person of its weight on Earth is its weight on moon. Do you remember that proportional is y over x? Do you remember this? Y over x? When you used to do proportional before, 
How was it? Was it X or Y or Y over X? Anyways, here you remember that I will take the bigger number and here and smaller number. Or you can even say that elephant weighs 15,000 pounds on earth and 2,005 pounds on earth. Assuming the weights are proportional, usually they are proportional. Percent of its weight on earth, what percent of its weight on earth is its weight on moon? They're op asking the opposite. So 2500 zero, zero equals part, this is the part, and this is the whole. So if you want to find P, where do the whole goes? It goes down. 2500 over 15,000. So it will be 25 over 150. How much is 25 over 150? 0 0.167 and then you divide by 100 you get as multiply by 100 not divide by 100 you get as almost 17 percent you get almost as 17 percent please write this down gradually when you do more questions you will try to understand each other i get i could see the faces with confusion right Mateen? You remember, why did I multiply with 100? You remember there was, there used to be like denominator 100? You remember? So this denominator, when it goes up, it becomes? Like example, P over whole equals, yes. If I want to know this percentage, this P, where does this 100 go? Like this, multiplication, right? So you wrote the part, you wrote the whole and you multiply with the answer with 100. And you got 16.7, so that is nothing but 17. See, don't get confused with the equation. You follow the same thing here. P over W is equal to percent over 100. Follow the same. And then switch. P is 2500 zero zero, and this is 15,000. Okay, 100 goes up and becomes multiplication and you find the percentage. Now, did you get it? That's better. Yep, just write here 0 0.167, you multiply with 100. So you get 16.7 and that's nothing but 17%. Lean, are you getting it? Malia? Malak, are you getting it? Just write this, that you multiply with 100. How will you know that? How did we get 17? Seventeen percent of it. Sixteen point seven. Hundred equals sixteen point seven. May I erase it? Can I go to the next question? Just try it, later we'll do it. If we get time, we'll directly go to problem solving. Do you know? Simple. Don't panic girls, it's the same formula, okay? Uh -uh, what happened to the screen, Allah? I cannot manage with the black screen. Same thing, that is switching, but you were switching from before, right? Hmm? Yes, yes, only on Wednesdays we have two maths.
wake up miss sleeping beauty wake up yalla come on an auto insurance company pays 12% commission okay wow they have to give what the person pays commission to its agent for its new insurance policy they sell how much commission does an agent make on a 1000 policy so out of 1000 this is the whole how much is the part we don't know what do we know yes first first let us okay okay let us do the same way khalas leave it so how do you get it you will x means what do you have to send 1000 there right so x equal 12 over 100 just do this yes go all to the next side my main intention is when you see a letter all alone you need to make it more alone <coughs> sorry if i need to make x alone where will 1000 go to the other side when it is going to the division becomes multiplication 12 over yes yes so 0 and 0 cut what is remember 120 12 times 10 Right, because two zeros will be cut. See, it's one thousand cut and two zeros from here. So what is left? Twelve times ten. If you want to write it, what is left? Twelve times ten. Very simple. I think we must follow the old formula, right? Actually, they are saying they are saying it's simple. Like you know, you remember in physics you have uh, what do you call as this uh, density is equal to mass by volume. Volume all, I mean, switching here and there. That's it. Did you write your uh, return? Completed. This all. Just don't write answers. I need everything here written. Okay. Finish, Lee. So much. Then, yeah. Kurt and Milani are mixing blue and yellow paint to make sea foam green paint. Use the person's equation to find how much yellow paint they should use. They want. They are asking you how much yellow paint they should use. Thirty percent of. Let us see. First of all. <clears throat> they should use 45 quarts of yellow paint how much yellow paint they must use so let us only do for yellow forget about the blue okay uh i don't know x total how much it is 1.5 in in 1.5 30% is 30% is because this is the whole thing mixed they mix blue and yellow together from here how much is the yellow they are asking you so 30 over 100 so i want to find x means i will just put 30 yes yalla do with the calculator 0.3 multiplied by 1.5 what is it 0.3 times 1.5 times 1.5 Zero point forty-five girls. You can even directly do this all with calculator if you are confused. Okay, zero point four five. So your answer is y equal zero point four five. Yes. Yes, because what did they ask us in the question? How much yellow paint? So you'll write down all this, and you'll write they should use. they should use uh 
of yellow paint. I just did, actually you can do with a calculator, I just canceled zero and zero. So it is three over 10. What is three over 10? There is one zero in the denominator, the point shifts here. 0 0.3 times 1.5, I did that, okay? You can go with any ways and don't worry, you have calculators, but still, what did I say, you, Mervatin? I don't want your skills to go down with the calculator. That's why I do both. Because I know that like if higher grades, you will go become a doctor, inshallah, for everything, I, I really feel different when, you know, big doctors, they say take calculators. No, you must know it. And that will come with practice from now. No, 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 that's enough. I think they should use 0 0.45 watts of yellow paint. Mm. Mm. Bill paid $35, $35.99 in tax on a laptop that cost $449.99. Okay, they paid a tax Bill paid $35.99 in tax on a laptop that cost, okay, from, from $449.99, $35.99 is the tax. You understand? Because they said bill paid. So that's what our English has to be strong. <laughs> Read it twice. 30, bill paid in tax on a lost laptop. The laptop is cost this much and you have a tax of this much. Okay, what percentage sales tax bill pay? So how do you do it? 35.99 over 44, 49.99 multiplied by 100. This equals P. So first, first divide this and tell me how much it is. 99 over 449.99. How much is it? Zero point zero seven one times hundred. Do it. It's okay. It's okay. You just take the first three numbers. Seven point one 
7.19 something, right? So they, they said about 8%. Even if you write about 7%, your answer is not wrong, okay? So, Miss, the answer is 8%. Yes, about 8%. Yeah, okay. Okay, good, yeah. In a survey of 500 voters, 430 said, now tell me what is a part and what is a whole? In a survey of 500, 430 said that they would vote for the same candidate again. So 430 out of 500, right? This is simple, P over 100, yalla do it. So you know that, but here see, here what they did, uh, they have asked you the boxes, see Ghali. They have, you, they have asked you the boxes. So you have to put hole here and part here. And you have to show how do you get 86 by your own. You remember this way, 430 over 500 times 100 and then solve it. That's 100 and 100, zero, zero get canceled, 430 over five. I'm sure you will get 86%. Why do I feel that you all are bored with this lesson or you don't understand this lesson? Are you getting it? Rita, are you getting this? Are you sick? Sleepy. When did you sleep last night? I need to touch Did you truly really understand the lesson? Uh, Manak, did you get this? Part by whole, person by hundred? No. Even this you did not understand. Okay, Malab. See, Malab, I told you like example, you got eight out of 10 marks, okay? So this is called the part and this is called the whole. You will have to find percentage over 100. So how do you do? You do eight out of 10 and this 100 goes that side and becomes multiplication with 100. This is how we are doing it. Now still you don't get it, inshallah, when you come for the meeting, I'll sit and explain. Okay, Manak? Or watch my videos again.
Now, my dear, tell me the formula. What I told you, what by what part? So, one hundred parts by parts by a whole. whole equal yeah. percent equal percent one hundred. Okay, this this do you know? Yeah. Now see here, which is the part and which is the whole? Sixteen GB is the whole, and three point three two is the part, right? Mm -hmm. I will do it. First, let us do nine because sorry, I skipped. See how much is the part here, Malak? Here, like see, three point three two are the photos out of sixteen GB. Like your phone has three point three two GB out of. Out of what? Out of sixteen. This is your whole the 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 yeah any space of your mobile, and you in that three point three two GB is photos, and you don't know how much percentage is that. You need to find percentage over hundred. Now where do this hundred go yet, uh, Malak? This is division. It goes there and become multiplication. Yes. Yeah, so three point three two over sixteen multiplied by hundred. So do this with the calculator and show me what is it? Three point three two over sixteen, huh? I uh, multiply by hundred. How much? Okay, okay, okay. You you did everything, so you got. She said that when she multiplied and she did everything, she got the answer as twenty point seventy five percent. Did you understand now, Yamala, or still not? I am. Uh... You need to practice, Yamala. Okay. Okay. Now, see, Malak, one more question. Let me do with you. This question: The local newspaper has letters to the editor from forty people, but we don't know how many. How much is the part? We don't know, or we don't know the sorry whole here. From forty people, they chose only forty people. One minute. The local newspaper has letters to the editor. There are have letters. I don't know how many letters are there, but from how many people? Forty people. If this number is represented by five percent, I don't know the whole five percent. So what is the whole? How do you do this? Where will you send W and where will you send? You remember I said you this way. Forty times. No, 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 no. Forty. This hundred will go up. Forty times. This hundred. Where it goes? Where it goes? Hundred. The division becomes multiplication, and this five. It comes down. This W goes up. Again, I will show you on the white screen. Or let us do two. No, no, we have six minutes. One minute. I will show you on the white screen. Yeah. See, part over whole equal percent over hundred. The part they said forty. They said this is W whole. I don't know percent. Percent. How much did they say? Five over hundred. Now, girls, can you find in the denominator? No. Like, like if it was part, okay, I will keep the P here and send everything to the other side. But here, it's a very improper place. So let us send this W up. Oh, so just cross multiply. So when you send forty. Division becomes go there. Division. This is division. It goes up and become. Or simply remember the fraction when it goes to the other side, it flips. Remember it like this. Can you remember this? The fraction flips when it goes to other side. Can you remember this? Uh, Forty times hundred. This division becomes multiplication, and multiplication becomes division. It goes W. So you have four thousand over five. So you have eight hundred. So total out of eight hundred letters, forty people were 
writing the letter. What is it? 40 people were what they were doing? We will continue from the same uh, question tomorrow, okay? Don't worry. Ask. We have studied a lot. <laughs> <laughs>